My name is Ayotunde Kayode. I moved to Canada with my family. We have a family of five, my wife and three kids. Two boys, 11 years old and um, eight years old, and a little girl that is three years old now. And I work with the Coalition for Equal Access to Education in Calgary. In my home country, Nigeria, my experience are multifaceted. Um, when I left the university, my background is in agricultural economics. I have a master's in agricultural economics from my university in my home country. And when I left the university, I first worked with the with a non-profit organization. Actually, it was funded by the United. It was funded by the Ford Foundation of um, the U.S. So I got an opportunity of working for six months as a consultant to start a project with them that led to the birth of a foundation called Community Development Foundation. And thereafter, I went for the banking industry. I worked in the commercial bank for a couple of years and then in development um, banking as well. Then I went into consulting. And then from consulting, I came back to the nonprofit world again. As a family educator, I work with parents and I provide training opportunities for them. I train parents on how to help their children to learn better at home. And so uh, it's, a, it's, it's an opportunity for me to impact lives on those people. A typical day will be like um, getting up and getting to the office. The work that you, the, the plans for the day, you know, you're engaging in it and then you're running it out and seeing how things and events unfold and seeing how you're meeting the targets and working towards the organizational objective uh, from the perspective of your own um, little bit that you're contributing to the to the work. And this is what a typical day looks like for me, running training programs, getting the parents organized, um, encouraging them to learn how to help their kids to do better at home. When those kind of situations um, probably come up, I see it um, visible amongst the, um, the black community. Um, somebody from Ghana sees me, who will think, oh, maybe you're a Ghanaian. And then the first question they ask, are you from Ghana? And I say, oh, I'm not from Ghana, but I'm an African, I'm from Nigeria. And then we get talking and then, you know, get along. Uh, the way I handle such things is to be very open-minded because this is a multicultural environment where you meet diverse people. So when things like that come up, you absorb it and um, you try to educate people in a subtle manner and um, you don't get worked up over anything. Uh, about that, that's, that's the way things are. What I enjoy most about my job is the fact that you are making a difference in the life of people and you are passion and I'm passionate about what I do. Being passionate about what you do it gives you the drive to keep going on. Uh, even when there are challenges, you look for creative ways of overcoming those challenges when they come. So being passionate about the job, it's, very, it's, it's something that I love doing and the fact that um, you're making a difference in the life of somebody. Uh, my advice to them will be first and foremost to be very open to learning new things because you have to unlearn yourself to learn when you come to a new environment. They need to reach out to the people that are involved in the labor force that are in the nonprofit sector. And um, I would advise that um, they attend those kind of courses that are provided uh, which the government is funding, it's free of charge. It makes you to integrate into the system that you have just come into. Uh, my advice will be that um, same goes to them too, that the organizations should be open to the diverse culture that the country of Canada provides, a multicultural environment. The one word that I will use will be to say that um, the sector is, is engaging. And the reason why I would say that it's engaging is that um, you cannot do it alone. You have to collaborate with people to get your job done and um, work with um, other groups, you know, to be able to have a rich um, output in the things that you do. So you really need to engage people, you need to engage other organizations, you need to network. So I would choose the word engaging.